Welcome to Russia. I apologize for the lack of videos over the last few days. I've just had a very busy work schedule, but we are back and we are back with daily content as well as hopefully over the next couple of days, that new series I have been promising you on Motorsport Manager. Anyway, we've already done practice here in Russia. As you can see, we've managed to get the setups all right, not, not perfect, but all right. Um, there's been no improvements on the car yet again as we continue to try and save money I want to get to that 30 million pound mark before we really start looking at then maybe bringing out a few in upgrades towards our car we had a fourth and a ninth in practice so I'm hopeful that this will be a decent weekend for us although we do have rain in qualifying so we're going to try and hit out a quick lap nice and early and then fingers crossed we can push on from there Russell will go first Latifi then may get into a little bit of trouble. We're going to have to try and do both at the same time, realistically. So let's get into it. So we're going to send George out. And then we're going to realistically have to do both at the same time. Now this is the first time we've, we're going to have to try this. It's not going to be easy by any stretch, but we have to. Otherwise, then one of them's going to miss out on having a lap in dry weather. So we're just going to push these up now. Latifi's getting heat into them tyres a bit quicker than George is. He's getting the heat right into the tyres. Oh, okay, so we have not managed to do this properly at all. We've probably bought up that weekend. Oh, no. They'll get their lap times in. I doubt... No, no, you cancel that. I doubt they'll be quick. I doubt they'll be quick. He has got purple in sector two, mind, but has now been taken off him. George, it's a 4-54-8. As the rain starts to hit, Latifi with a 9-5-6... Have we sent them out at just about the right time, maybe, to beat them? Because the rain now will start to slow all the cars down. We'll see what Max does. Max does go quicker than us. We aren't going to go out again. This, what we've got here, is what we'll have. There's no point in us going out again because the wet track, I mean, it does dry up a little bit. We could probably try again, but I don't think we will. I don't think think anyone's going to beat us. I think a fourth and a tenth is what we're looking at here. Even with this little spell now, I don't think it's long enough for people to really challenge any of the times ahead of them. And uh, with the rain now, the track's now wet. We've got ourselves a fourth and a tenth. Absolutely fantabby dozy. Just what you want to see. As we hit the final minute of the session, we'll just wait. And George Russell will qualify in fourth. Latifi in tenth. The only two drivers not to go out in the wet conditions. Um, didn't see the point, really. And we'll see what the weather brings for the race, which is coming right up now. So you are just confirmation, George in fourth, Latifi in tenth. 10th. Decent qualifying really from us. Very good qualifying from us. Strategy wise. We'll see what we go with. What's the weather going to bring? As I can see there is no rain before lap 31. So how many laps actually are there in this race? There's 41. Before we do that, we are actually just going to check how long each of these tyres are expected to last for. So you've got 9 and 11 for soft, 18 and 20, 13 and 15 for mediums. So I'm thinking two softs, a, a soft stint definitely, and a hard stint maybe. That's what I think we're looking at. So soft. Soft stint for sure. So in terms of knowledge, I want to get the best out of the 
soft tires for George. We're going to go with the medium tires for Nicholas. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on the medium staff, which so he has the two faster tires later on in the race. So put him on hard. So what do we go? Medium, soft. We'll go medium soft hard for him and then we have the option of going soft medium hard with George and the lineup then for this Russian Grand Prix is Lewis Hamilton on pole it's a Mercedes lockout with Bottas in second Verstappen came third with George Russell starting fourth Sebastian Vettel pipped into fifth place and Daniel Ricciardo is sixth Yuki Tsunoda will start 7th alongside Lando Norris in 8th. Pierre Gasly is 9th and Nicholas Latifi is 10th. Carlos Sainz will start 11th with Fernando Alonso alongside him in 12th. Nico Hülkenberg is 13th and Kimi Raikkonen is 14th. Sergio Perez with a horrendous qualifying for Red Bull in 15th and Esteban Ocon is in 16th. Guan Yu Zhou will start 17th ahead of the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc in 18th. Antonio Giovinazzi is 19th and Filippo Drogovic is in 20th. Let's get down to that grid for lights out. So George starting in 4th, Latifi in 10th. Lights out, George gets an okay start. Those two McLarens though have absolutely flew off the line. And they both take George, and George is now struggling to get the heat into the tyres, maybe, because they, oh, wow, they're flying. Signs is passed. Sonoda's passed. George Russell's not having a good start to this Grand Prix. And there we go. He's now going to try and utilise some ERS, maybe. George can he's up to seventh. He's past Yuki. Around there, here we go. He's in seventh place. And Latifi's up, still in tenth. He says he's up. He was down in thirteenth, but he's managed to get back up into tenth place. He'll now be told. No, he doesn't have to conserve, does he? Because of his tyres. If he's doing the strategy on, on planning, he doesn't have to conserve his tyres at all. George will. But Yuki's probably. George will have to conserve tyres, unfortunately. So we're going to ask him to do that now. And it will mean that Yuki will probably get past him. Yeah, and so will Vettel. And then you've got Sergio Perez just in a faster car behind George. The start of this race, not going exactly to plan. That is for sure. Nicholas Latifi is now coming up behind Fernando Alonso. And George is competing with Sergio. He's doing well against Checo. So we're going to go on to neutral because George will definitely be doing that medium to hard strategy that we've got Nicholas on. He's going to have to. I think Nicholas might have to think about extending this stint, maybe. Checo's going to get past George here on those fresher hard tyres. And George now looking to extend this stint on these softs. He's got Perez in front of him, who's now holding the lead to the Grand Prix. Latifi's on 20. He's got to try and conserve these tyres a little bit now realistically George will have to come in this lap and we will go straight to those hards and we'll see what where we come out with him he will go on to conserve because he's going to have to conserve tyres going into the latter passes of this race Latifi now is running around with 32% tyres has been a mistake front jack mistake on his stop and Latifi has got Leclerc right behind him and looking very pacey so as Latifi comes around these corners I've got another side is it time to pit him 
Or can he last a little bit longer, maybe? He's going to go start for another lap. He's going to start for that extra lap. And then this lap, he'll come in to go onto those hard tyres. He's going to have 75% charge put onto him. Now, George will use ERS. And he'll use that ERS. To get past Gasly, and he's right behind Sonoda now, and he's past Sonoda. Just what you want to see, and he'll use that 9%, and he will be ahead of Latifi. And it's the fastest lap for George as well. The new fastest lap of the race, set by George Russell on these hard tyres. And he's got that Sonoda on those medium tyres, proper gaining on him, as you'd expect, and because he gets caught up. He actually gets taken. He got caught up behind Alonso, I believe it was. And those two should pull away on those medium tyres. You'd expect them to. And Latifi will utilise his energy now. And then Gasly's behind George. He's actually on hard tyres. And that... Vettel was that? Oh no, it's Hulkenberg on the fresher hards going past George now. We're trying to elongate every stint. Which is not always easy. But sometimes you've got to. And in this case, that's exactly what we're having to do. And Gasly will probably get past George at some point. He has actually used his ERS to good effect. George has been taken there by Kimi Raikkonen now. His tyres have underheated. That's fine. It is what it is. And now George is right up behind that Kimi. And George is in ninth place. We'll slow it up now for a little bit. George, that Raikkonen, he's so knackered on his tyres, isn't he? He's having to pit quite early if he wants to go to the end. He'll have to go hard again, I'd have thought. With George now, he can now go on to neutral. I think Leclerc's doing a one-stop hard to hard, but I thought you'd have to, I don't know if you have to do two different compounds in a race. Either way, George... He's getting within medium tyre range now. As he looks to get the Leclerc here. Will he get him around the outside? Yes, he will. He's past Leclerc. Just what we want to see. He's up into fifth place. He will have another pit stop to go. And he's past Perez, and thankfully Perez has held everybody up for him. Now, we will pit George to put him on them mediums, which will take him to the end of the race. At least that's the plan anyway. So in he comes now, his final pit stop of this race. He will drop him back down into 16th place. Quite a few cars ahead of him. On slower tyres though, some of them. His suspension, would it last to the end of the race? We're going to ignore it. We're going to take the risk that it's going to end to the last. The, it's going to last to the end of the race. Latifi now is on faster tyres and quite a few cars on fresher tyres at the same time. So that's his aim: is to get to the end. As it comes to Latifi. He's not doing too bad. So if we were to pit him now, 
We could whack him on soft tyres to the end. His suspension is really struggling. We're taking a risk with him of keeping him out. Yellow flag, no overtaking in sector two. There's been a crash. Are oh, we bringing out the safety car? So George is up to ninth. He's got Lando on a medium tire behind him. Put his what's name into high mode. We will see what we can do. George is in ninth. I believe there's a Mercedes, no, it's uh, Aston Martin behind him. We're trying to go all the way to the end now. With both drivers. Five laps to go. George is currently running in sixth. We're going to bring this back down to make sure his tyres last. Russell Norris will battle it out, I feel. And Gasly will get to the end, it looks like, at this stage. The suspension is going to go, isn't it? I don't think Latifi's going to get to the end. His rear wing is in trouble. We'll go as we do. But I do not think... Leclerc's pitting this lap, you know. Leclerc's pitting, which is a benefit to us. George, whose tyres are completely shot. We're on that final lap. Gasly's tyres are shot as well, but not as bad as George's. We've worked very hard here to try and try and get some points. George is going to finish sixth. That's a fantastic Grand Prix from him. Latifi will finish in 13th. Sonoda doesn't pick up points, but we do drop points to Alpha Tauri overall. That means Latifi is someone we need to start thinking about. He worries me. He's not having a good season at all. At all. However, George there with another good drive to get sixth place. Maybe going with a more aggressive strategy could have worked for us. We didn't go for the aggressive strategy. And in the end, we get a sixth place finish, which isn't bad. And eight points towards the team's total. Nicholas Atifi finishing 12th is... They didn't finish 12th, he's 12th in the championship, excuse me. He's dropped down again. George holds on to fourth, just about, as Pierre Gasly slots a point behind him. Worrying, I think that does mean, yeah, Alpha Tauri have. Oh, they already were ahead of us because there's no arrows, but they are now 19 points ahead of us. We are 19 points ahead of Aston Martin. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good season battling for, well, I'm guessing, third, fourth, or fifth by the looks of it. We're definitely up there with your Alpha Tauris and your Aston Martins, George Russell in particular being the main driver doing that part of the deal for us. Latifi, when we've got money, certainly could be someone who might be shown the door. 2.8 million coming into the bank after that race and that lovely finish. Can we just respect Sergio Perez? Put some respect on that name. Where he qualified all the way down, I think it was in 15th or 16th. And in the end, third place finish getting a podium that's a fantastic drive and a bit of strategy from the red bull guys next up it is in canada for us fingers crossed it ends up getting the result we want shall we say one of these days we will find a car that gets a race victory obviously until we've got the money in the bank to buy parts it's probably not going to happen unless there's 
major strategy flaws from Mercedes and Red Bull. Either way, sixth place could have been worse, could have been better. Fingers crossed, we go a little better in Canada. I'll see you there.